Madam Ambassador Luisa Fragoso, it's a pleasure to, to be here today. And will you tell us a little bit about Portugal, Africa, and what, you know, uh, what we are talking about here, which is the author um, and, and whom we're about to interview? Thank you so much for coming today and for this opportunity for this interview. Uh, it is a very big pleasure to welcome, welcome here today in Kenya, one of the authors in Portugal that has dedicated um, work in writing to uh, historical figures and the history of Portugal. This one particularly touches Portugal and Kenya uh, as it goes about the history of uh, how the Portuguese seafarers back, back in the 15th century, 16th century, on their way to India, searching the what we call the maritime route to India, went around Africa and so discovered the whole new perspective for ourselves. We didn't know where we were heading. Actually, we were heading into the unknown mm. and we met uh, so much history throughout. And part of that history lies here in Kenya as we um, came around the southernmost post, uh, point of Africa and finally going up touched base because of course on those trips it's essential to do so on what is today's coast of Kenya and that is what I want to tell uh, to tell uh, uh, through this book and through the visit of our friend is that as everybody knows in Kenya and we are very welcomed uh, by the words Vasco da Gama when we pronounce that we are Portuguese other than Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> later course, on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But I thought that this was a history that uh, deserved to be talked about because you feel it as much as we do as part of your, of your making as a nation. And uh, on the other side as well, talking about our heritage, our common heritage, how did we uh, build this point. But taking on from here, this is like the pretext, the reason why we should be looking into the future and what are we doing together. And again, we are facing the question of oceans together because Portugal, um, is again very much interested in blue economy, same as Kenya. Uh, and that's where we're trying to build bridges together uh, between our nations, between our people, be exchanging students. I think it's the most important part of our work here is people to people. How do we engage ourselves? How do we understand ourselves? Uh, looking back, understanding where we were and uh, looking forward where we want to be. So this is very much part of the event adventure that we are building together. And I think that uh, you will hear from the words of our um, guest, what is our, um, our drive? Our drive has always been the sea. You know, we have uh, put together our country as a nation, as one of the oldest nations um, in Europe. Uh, so from the 13th century, Portugal was in existence as it is today. The, the, the borders never changed. But then what do we do? How do we develop? And the, the quest was always outside of our borders. It has always been there and it has always been the sea. And so the sea has taken us to so many parts of the world. And certainly we want to celebrate that part which is now here based in Kenya. And we want to celebrate it, I think, in the best way, which is through poetry, through the words, words of the poets. And they were so beautiful. <laughs> I think I've got to go and find the book <laughs> and find the translation. Thank you. Louisa, um, just specifically with respect to Kenya, you're the ambassador here. Um, I know you've already been down to Malindi, you're rehabilitating what is the iconic Vasco. I, I, you know, in my youth, we used to go to Malindi, and I can remember it in front of me. Um, in Mombasa, of course, we have the Fort Jesus. Um, what is your? What are you looking to do with these iconic Portuguese-originated monuments which sit here? Are you Are you working on working with the authorities to resurrect these and keep them front and center? We have always had a long story of cooperation in the areas of uh, heritage, as you know. Um, um, the fort in um, in Mombasa is uh, currently. Uh, um, icon uh, through um, the UNESCO has yes. made um, part of, of world heritage. So there's al always been a point of interest and that cooperation should be taken forward. So mm. as we arrived here, one point of interest was the conversations around heritage and how can we engage and what is the program of the Kenyan government to rehabilitate the fort. Uh, and on the other hand, how can we look at the um, 
the traces that we have left here, our points of contact, yes. in order to tell the story. I mm. think that is probably most important than what can we do about the stones. The stones mm. will always be, will always, there will always be a, a way of working around it, but how do we tell the, this story? How do we stand in this? Um, and so uh, definitely there will be conversations, there will be a way of looking forward uh, and developing what is already in place. But most especially, um, as I said, uh, we look at the points of contact between the people, people to people, and looking at it, we are putting our best bets in developing the language here, the training in the language, offering tools for the young people and the not so young people, all of us, myself, I, yes. I would very I much know. like to <laughs> Uh, do well in learning my Swahili. Yes. <laughs> pole pole. But I'm sure <laughs> there are lots of Portuguese words in, in Swahili. Exactly. Yeah. So it is. So uh, the, the so linguistics would be a rich area to study. So it is. Yes, yes indeed. Because uh, once you make it uh, for so long, mm. the contact takes so long, people will incorporate what is the livelihood and the lifestyle of one another. So. Uh, it is classical to say that mesa is mesa in Portuguese, that copo is copo, that vinho is vinho, mm. uh, uh, altar is altar, mm. uh, and misa is misa, mm. you know, everything that somehow combined us together in our lives. And be, be coming back to these uh, religious references, uh, one of actually the most uh, touching points probably of our relationship is the fact that when Vasco da Gama touched base mm. uh, in um, Malindi to, of course, take on his trip. Uh, it's part of the endeavor, and he was welcomed uh, then by the the Malindi uh, Sultan. He, of course, felt the need to somehow address his own way of faith. Mm. It's needed. It's uh, you know in the way that you do it, most especially in those days. So, you still keep it in a very nice uh, condition. What is um, what you properly call the Portuguese chapel? Yes. Uh, in in Malindi, just ah. across the pillar. Ah, so yes. you uh, you come to Malindi, visit the pillar because of course you are op taking a walk onto mm. the onto the shore, and just across the street you will have probably the most s the smallest uh, church that I've seen. It's probably you are probably mm. familiar with it. Yes, five to five. Uh, and it's there. So the original walls are from 1498. My goodness. I would put it as the oldest church uh, in, in the African coast because indeed um, it was from the time when the first contacts happened uh, as Vasco da Gama was arriving, not returning, arriving to mm. Malindi because what you do with your crew, they are uh, used to go to church and definitely if you're going to face the sea, the sea you want to ask your God, all the way to <laughs> India, you want to ask at least your own God for protection. We'll have to go there together and visit it. Thank you so much. And show people. It. And uh, uh, the next step will certainly be to engage in multiple areas, but you do not advance until you engage with, mm. the, with, with the culture and uh, the, the people's uh, interaction. And so, we have just launched yesterday at the University of Nairobi a Portuguese certificate course. So that means a language, that course. language course. Mm. So that means that uh, from next semester it will be available for Kenyan students from the university and not uh, so internal and external students to take on and use it as a tool, in, as an enrichment, as a reference use it for whatever you want, but especially use it to understand each other better. I thank you, Madam Ambassador, and thank I you. wish you all the success in rebuilding these bridges that have been there for six, seven hundred years. Thank you. And what a wonderful thing you're doing. My pleasure. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. Thank you.